cool to clever find himself going on an adventure across weird lands so he can get his revenge on the wizard Iakonu back in Almeria, his home. And of course, this is in the last days of the dying earth. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Hemvar, and today I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of Jack Vance's Cool Saga. Kugel Saga, also sometimes called Kugel, the Skybreak Spatterlight, is the third Dying Earth novel by Jack Vance. It was released in 1983 and again continues the story of Kugel after the events of The Eyes of the Overworld, which is the second Dying Earth novel. And you most certainly should read that one before reading Kugel's Saga. I have done a review for that. It was actually one of the first I did on my channel and I'll link that here so you can go and watch that if you'd like. There is one other story about Kugel that is not that was authorized but is ignored here actually so there are technically two sequels to the eyes of the overworld the other one being a quest for symbolists by michael shea and i have reviewed that one as well now this is the lar largest longest of the four dying earth novels by vance and it starts right where eyes of the overworld ends kugel blundering about and getting himself back to his well punishment basically since he failed in casting a spell and ended up far away from home in, in Almory, on a distant shore, uh, again because of his hubris. But instead of being sent, um, or being going going directly to Iaconu, um, he has to make his way back. And this time he goes a different route, of course. Now I guess we could call what Kugel gets justice, um, but it's definitely interesting what this book goes through throughout. I believe this is technically a fix-up novel, but is advertised as mostly a novel because I think only two parts of this were published beforehand. Now, Kugel is the bad guy here. This is full-on picaresque, which I think Vance actually does rather well, and I think it's something he does more often than Dying Earth, though this is the only thing I've read by him so far. But of course, in the Dying Earth, we have the sun about to burn out, and many people are nihilistic in this weird, far future. Now, again, Kugel is very much a rake, a rogue, and he is out for vengeance, even though he was the one in the wrong. Uh, he's also, um, well, he does silly things, of course, um, and he encounters silly things, such as employers making their employees pay for everything, since there are no benefits for being employed to that person. It's essentially slavery, honestly. So, in this, though, Kugel does seem a little bit more honest, um, it's probably not the right way of saying that. It's more like less people seem uh, to die either directly or indirectly by his hand in the story, which is to say there's a little less sword and sorcery elements in the story. He's, again, simultaneously clever and other times extremely idiotic. And admittedly, uh, this last part is partially because he does not know the customs of the lands he finds himself in but again, kind of punishment for his hubris. And he does lie as often as ever, of course, though this one does have more magic than the first two books um, by a little bit. You can definitely see the, the Vancian magic coming through that we can see in D&D as well. At this point, this is after D&D was actually getting some popularity, though of course the older books came out before D&D was a thing. And then we also get to see a lot of the great ruins of past eons and we get some nice critique of religion as well and uh there's honestly just a lot of good stuff here i feel like he honestly also uses a little less of that weird vocabulary as well um and we see at least i felt like we saw a lot more uh humans than odd creatures but that's i guess kind of normal actually we get a nice mix and uh a lot of these humans are of course uh well, different than Kugel and definitely different than us uh, in ideals of beauty and in their just, you know, their customs. The funniest part, I would say, is, uh, <laughs> uh, well, when he has to guard a caravan that has 17 virgins traveling to a religious destination. And uh, for some reason, all these 17 virgins, you know, need to be virgins for this religious ceremony or whatever. And yeah, you can kind of guess what, what happened. Now, I think Vance does a great job of doing these like fantastic ethnologies 
where he really like brings the world alive like it's really ridiculous it's really ridiculous this is just such a fun read in my opinion um but he like he does bring this world alive he doesn't really connect it to our world because it is so far into the future millions of years if not billions and i believe there might have been a reference to suno to bergerac at some point even and maybe even some other references i'm surely missing but <laughs> overall this was just a very fun novel and i'm kind of sad that vance is not as popular as i feel like he should be i, I realize the humor doesn't land with a lot of people but at the same time, I think it's not supposed to be, like, you know, the type of humor that makes you burst out laughing. Like, it's just overall a very fun romp, and it's very entertaining, and it's just ridiculous, you know. And, and, and in some ways, you can connect with Kugel because of his foibles, you know, that he is just experiencing. But most people wouldn't connect to him, like, they're, most people aren't rakish or rogues or well as dishonest as he is and whatnot but it's just the way he is basically and it's very charming in a way because you know he is the protagonist here even though he is not a good guy at all and so for some reason you're still listening to this and you haven't even read the eyes of the overworld then i i really recommend reading the dying earth it's definitely a little different than the google stories and if you don't like the google stories um and you are watching this and you start uh, stopped and put down the dying earth i do recommend real to the marvelous which is the fourth dying earth book it's a little more similar to um the first dying earth book the dying earth and uh well it's actually fantastic i haven't quite finished it yet but i'll get that to in its own review but uh, if you want to talk more uh, vance i definitely plan on reading more vance and i well you can chat with about that in discord which will be linked below Thanks for watching, listening to my short rambling thoughts, and uh, I'll catch you next time.